something about it. And as editor of the Lincoln Log, I want our paper read. Okay, it's late, but you guys get the idea. Talk it over. I mean it. We can turn this paper around if we really try. Karen, wait up a sec. Have a seat. I've got an idea, and I think you'd be just the right person to pull it off. Uh-oh. That sounds like you just plotted how to rob the cafeteria or something. <laughs> Sorry, that's not in my line. No, I... I've been pulling around with this idea for an advice to the love war Carlo. And I think you'll do a great job of it. Advice to the love lorn? Me? Oh, boy, that's really not my line. I mean, I'm just a sophomore. What do I know of, of love? What do I know of the world? It's just that I think that you have the right touch for this sort of thing. You're writing so light and lively. Wow, Skip, I don't know. Well, I thought we call it Dear Lovey Heart. <laughs> So, I said we want to make it light. Come on, Carrie. What do you say? Well, I've got a funny feeling I shouldn't be saying this. But I'll do it. Great. Okay. The die is cast, Julius. Okay, now where do we start? Where do we get the letters for the first column? Ah, no problem. Read Lovey Heart in the Lincoln Log. Lovey answers your questions and solves your problems with snappy suggestions for happy solutions. No names, please. Lovey listens, so listen to Lovey. Kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't think it's coming on a little too strong, oh. do you? This will bring in the letters. I'll have them all over school by tomorrow. Wow, imagine me with my very own column, and I've only been with the log for a semester. Yeah, that's the catch. You see, nobody can know that it's your column. It's like I say, nothing like having your own column and nobody knowing it. Why can't I tell anybody? I, it ruins the mystery. Okay, kids are gonna write to a lovey heart. And let's face it, who's gonna write to Carolyn Wasserman, huh? I don't know. Dear Carolyn Wasserman. It doesn't have the right ring to it, I gotta admit. Well, I can at least tell my parents, can I? You gotta be kidding me. Your father's a head counselor here at Lincoln. Of all people, he shouldn't know. But he's my father. <sighs> Carrie, this has got to be kept a total secret to work. Are you gay? My lips are sealed. You know, Arlene Dankus just asked me who Lovey Heart is. I can't believe it. She asked me. You're keeping the secret is going to be the worst part. I'm a miserable liar. It runs in our family. You know, you can't tell anybody. It's for your own protection. You make it sound like I'm going to be one step ahead of a lynch mob. Yeah, well, sometimes giving advice can get pretty hairy. I thought you said this was going to be just for laughs. Look. When the letters come in, nobody can see you pick them up. Not even the staff. So we gotta find a way to get them to you. Hey, you wanna ride home? Hi, Marty. Don't panic, it's just Marty. Practice just broke up. I thought I'd see if you were still here and if you needed a ride home. Well, I am and I do. See you later. Smell! Garlic! 
garlic bread, can't you tell? Oh, now that I know what it is, I can. Marty bring you home? Yeah, good old Marty. From kindergarten to the grave, a friendship for life. Well, did anything important happen to you today? Well, actually, I was... Uh, no. No, not really. Open up! My arms are full. Hi, darling. Get the wheat crackles? I'll have to get the groceries away, Daddy. <laughs> I'm glad we're all present and accounted for. Tonight's my real estate class, so dinner will be served half an hour early. We all remember that? We read you, Captain. Roger, Roger and, and out. out. <laughs> Say, Carrie, I saw those posters all over the school. I was wondering, does Loving Heart qualify to give snappy solutions and instant relief, or whatever those posters say? I don't know, Daddy. We'll see. Anyway, the whole thing's a big secret. What is Loving Heart? Uh, the paper is starting an advice to the Lovelorn column. Hey, no wheat crackles! Let's finish one box at a time, young man. But I need the box top to get a periscope. Billy's already got three of them. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, love Lauren Collin. That sounds sort of cute. Cute? The thought of some mixed-up kid giving advice to other mixed-up kids is rather unsettling, if you ask me. That's not fair. How do you know she or he is a mixed-up kid? And maybe she or he is very unmixed up. Here, Jeff. In the refrigerator. Well, we'll see whether she or he is unmixed up. What does that mean? You wouldn't interfere, would you? Your father wouldn't do that. Remember our rule? Since you're both in the same school, neither is to interfere in the other school business. Hey, look! Anyway, it's just for laughs, Daddy. Sometimes things that start out as laughs end up being very unfunny. Oh, Jeff, look what you've done! I was doing good till it fell. My point, exactly. Dear Levy Hart, I am so fat, I hate to look at myself in a mirror. Nobody ever asks me out, and I get so miserable, the only thing that makes me feel better is eating. What should I do? Yours truly, miserable mouthful. Ah, now, there's a weighty problem for you. And your answer, Levy? Uh, okay, dear mouth. What I have to say to you is a four-letter word. Diet. Try it. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Dear lovey heart, my boyfriend and I are always fighting because I'm really great in tennis and hoping to become a pro. He resents all the time I spend on tennis and thinks it's stupid to dream of a tennis career. What do you think? Yours truly, Anonymous. Dear Anonymous, in tennis, love is zero. Your boyfriend seems to feel that in love, tennis is zero. If he resents your choice of a career, maybe you and he are not cut out to be a match set. Where's Linda? Didn't she eat lunch today? She's probably discussing the deeper meanings of Ralph Waldo Emerson with Mr. Stokes. It's nice of Mr. Stokes to spend so much time with her. Yeah, Linda thinks so, too. Well, what's that supposed to mean? She's in love with him. Oh, how do you know? You've never been in love. You said so yourself. That's beside the point. Ask her. She'll tell you herself. Hey, here she comes. Go ahead, ask her. Well, go on, ask her. I can wait till she sits down, at least. Please don't talk about me as if I'm not here. Well, ask me what? Are you, uh, do you have a, uh, are you in love with Mr. Stokes? Yes, I am. Why? But he's your English teacher. I'm quite aware of that. But the disparity in our ages is nowhere in evidence on the mental plane. We think very much alike, you know. Why, actually, at times, I think I'm more mature than he is. Are you serious? Quite serious. Mmm, mm, the sandwich tastes good. Love gives one an appetite, you know. Well, how does he feel about you? 
I think I know, but I'm not entirely sure. I wish there was some way I could find out. I know who could help you. Who? Dear Levy Hart, I'm in love with my English oh, teacher oh and he my. doesn't know Don't it. Don't laugh. You'd be surprised. <sighs> yes? Surprised at what? Whoever Lovey Hart is, she's sure a celebrity. But who knows who she is? Yeah, I guess Lovey is a celebrity of sort. <laughs> ah, the success of Lovey Hart proves that the kids will read the paper if we give them what they want. At least it proves they're reading Lovey Hart. At least it got him to unfold the paper. That's a step in the right direction. Uh, Lovey's biggest appeal seems to be with the freshmen and the sophomores. Uh, I want some stuff that'll get even the seniors reading the paper. Cindy, no more profiles on Baton Tour. Let's find me someone that nobody knows who's doing something really interesting. Hmm. I've got an idea. Tell me who Lovey Hart is. And I'll write you a very interesting column. Yeah, well, just never you mind. Okay, back to work. Carrie, yeah. I want to talk to you for a second. Please. About the cheerleader column, I don't know. How about the response Lovey's getting, huh? Yeah, I could write War and Peace in the time it would take me to answer all those letters. <laughs> Look, I'll bring the letters over to you at your house this afternoon. Just be sure that you answer the door yourself. Right. And just see that you brush up on it a little bit, okay? Sure. Thanks for the ride, Marty. Come on, Carrie. Tell me who's Lovey Hart. You gotta know, you're on the paper. I told you, it's a secret. Nobody on the paper knows except Skip. Thanks again. I'll come in for a while. I got a pile of work to do. So do I. Look, let's put on a couple of records and do it together. Okay? I'm never gonna be ready for this quiz. I can't understand a word. I understand, Tommy. Why do you think matter? What is that? I don't know. Jeff, get off that chair with your dirty shoes. This is how tall I plan to be next year. Terrific. Now, will you get down? If you go to be that tall by next year, you'll be ready for pro basketball by the time you're 11. I'm going to be tall. I do stretching exercises every day. Hi, Dad. Hi, son. How's the team this year, Marty? Good. Real good. I'll get it. I got it! I got it! I got it! Hi, Skip. What's in the bag? Hey, Marty, old boy. See, how's the team coming along? Man? Good. Real good. We're a little light on forward. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. Carrie, I came by for the... Uh, galley proofs. Oh, the galley proofs. Oh, Skip, I forgot all about them. Yeah, I know you did. I, I kept reminding you to bring them back. Carrie! Don't stand there at the door. Ask your friend in. Carrie's got a new boyfriend. Oh, really? If that's a scoop, Jeff, I'd advise you to recheck your sources. Yeah. Oh, hello, Skip. Bernie, this is Skip Custer, editor of The Log. Mrs. Wasserman. I hear The Log's doing so well this year. Congratulations. Carrie's been telling me all about it. I'm glad you're here, Skip. To tell the truth, this lovey heart thing is beginning to bother me a bit. Bother you? Oh, it's something of a cop-out, don't you think? Cop out. Uh, Lovey Hart is just our own dear Abby or Ann Landers. But with one big difference, we know who they are. Who exactly is Lovey Hart? Respectfully speaking, sir, I can't tell you that. Why not? It'd be sort of like revealing my sources. Bernstein and Woodward didn't have to do it. Therefore, I don't feel I have to either. What team did they play for? They were the reporters who broke the Watergate scandal. It hasn't anything to do with revealing your sources. It has to do with who's taking responsibility for the Lovey Hart column. Since no one knows who Miss Hart is, I assume you are taking the responsibility. What responsibility, sir? Oh, Mark, the advice Lovey Hart hands out is innocuous. Why give Skip a hard time, huh? I merely want to point out that it takes years of training to be capable of helping people solve their problems. I should know. That's what I've trained for. What are Lovey Hart's qualifications? 
Uh, Dad, Skip's in a hurry. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to find those galley proofs of shape my desk is in. Come help me look. Uh, Marty, Mom just made some chocolate cake. Why don't you have a piece? Mm -hmm. hey, come on. Both of you are making this whole thing too big. It's mostly supposed to be for laughs, remember? Yeah. Where can I stand? Uh, in here. I've only brought the best letters. I don't know where those galley proofs are. Oh, we've got to find them. They've got to be here somewhere. Here they are! I want these back, please. It's a combination to your locker. My locker? Yeah, you'll find the letters in a manila envelope in your locker from now on. Give me the combination. Oh. Great. Should work. to you and Mr. Stokes. If my memory serves me right, I believe Lovey Hart was talking about a sophomore and a junior, well, not a student and a teacher. But the principle should still be the same. Linda, you aren't thinking about doing anything drastic. I mean, like, like writing him and letting him know. Oh, <laughs> good grief, no. That would be childish. <sighs> Glad to hear it. When the time is right, I think I'll just tell him. All right. Hey, Carrie, you going home already? No. It's all right, Marty. Don't step on account of me. I got two perfectly good legs. Hey, cut it out. Are they that good? Thanks, I'll pay you later. As I was saying, I can walk home. I don't mind splitting early. No, really, I'd rather walk. Anyway, I have to go to the library first. Oh, okay. I'll take you home tomorrow, then. Marty, don't feel you have to take me home every day. I don't live all that far from school. I don't mind. Hey, you coming to the basketball game Saturday? I finally made first string. I don't know. All right, when's the kickoff? Kickoff? There's no kickoff in basketball. Maybe, maybe you better start without me. I got a million things to do on Saturday. Yeah, OK. Hey, listen to this. Dear Lovey Heart, my problem is that girls don't seem to think of me as anything more than a pal. No matter how much I try to please them, they always act indifferent to me. What do you think I should do to change this? Signed, everybody's brother. And what did Miss Lovey Heart say to that? Dear brother, girls are not turned on by wishy-washy boys. Spice up that good guy approach with a dash of cavemen, and the girls will see a whole new you. She may have something there. I've been waiting all day to see some guy dragging a girl down the hall by her hair. Hello? 
Oh, hi, Susan. Your party? What's the occasion? There'll be nobody home. Well, that's as good a reason as any. Yeah, okay. Okay, bye, see ya. Grand Central Station? Oh, hi, Marty. Yeah, she just called. She told me about the party. Are you asking me or telling me? You're asking. Well, in that case, I'll go with you. 8.30? Would it matter if I suggested a later time? I see you're partial to 8.30. Well, if I'm gonna go with you, it's 8.30 then. Okay, Marty. Oh, this is Marty, isn't it? Right. Bye. Skip, it's Carrie. Listen, remember that letter from the kid in the first issue who was on drugs? Yeah, yeah, well, listen to this. Dear Lovey Heart, I was the one who ran around with a group who was into the drug scene. When I gave it up, they gave me up, and I was left without any friends. I did what you said and forced myself to make one new friend. He had two, and now I've got three. It's a start. Thanks for helping me. I can't believe I actually helped somebody. Isn't that the most... Hold on a second, will you skip? Oh, Jeff, there you are. Don't forget it's trash day tomorrow. Hi again. It's a false alarm. Boy, being lovey heart is really making me paranoid. This is silly. It's downright dumb. To change for Susan's party? I did. Hmm. Carrie, this lovey heart thing is really... I already told you, Daddy. Skip thinks that the column is too popular to kill. It's not going to interfere with your paper. Jeff, don't run. Marty's here! Oh, mm. is that all? Terrific. He never He's used to honk this morning. I know. I better go before he wears it out. <laughs> and our ears. Have a good time, oh, honey. Right. I want to dance, so let's dance. That is the most resistible invitation I've had all night. What's happening? Oh, hi. Uh, I haven't got the vaguest idea. Okay, Susan, you dance with me. Wait, Marty! What's with Marty? It's me. Maybe he's everyone's brother. Hey, what are the potato chips? You think Marty could be everyone's brother? If he is, I've created a monster. Hey, help me pick out some records, please, before Marty asks me to dance again. Okay. Uh, can we? No, no. Picking out records is strictly a two-man job. Half over. 
over. I, uh, came in the back because I don't have a date. So what? Today's liberated female can go to parties alone, haven't you heard? I, uh, wasn't planning on coming to this silly little party, but what do I care? Huh? So what, I say, life goes on. <laughs> so what's this all about, I say? I told him, just like your lovey heart suggested. I told him exactly how I felt about him tonight. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And I can tell you, the feelings weren't mutual. He told you? Oh, he didn't have to. I got that impression when he simply introduced me to his fiance. Oh, Linda, I am sorry. So what I say, say la vie. Life goes on, and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna have the best time I can. Where's my woman? Carrie, I wanna dance. I wanna thank you. Uh, anybody misses me, just tell them I've gone home. Cindy, this movie column is great. Oh. <laughs> I love the way you're ripping into Boulevard's latest epic. Thank you. <laughs> it's controversial, and that is good. Uh, but it could have been better if you'd explained why you hated the picture rather than how much you hated it. Hey, Skip, what happened with the principal? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, what what happened? Happened? Don't even tell us. Oh, okay. Uh, Mrs. Beeman was very nice and all that jazz, mm -hmm. but she suggested that maybe the law could use a faculty advisor again. Oh, oh. No. oh and that would be like taking giant steps backwards. I mean, everything we fought for would go down the drain, yeah, right? I, mean, I told her no. no way. A faculty advisor would just be another form of censorship, and that's one of the two things that I'm dead set against. One of them is censorship of any form, and the other is having to reveal our sources. <laughs> Hey, uh, Woodward, Bernstein here would like a secret uh, meeting in the garage. Yeah. I want off the column, Skip. Oh, come on, Carrie, you gotta be putting me on. It's the most popular column in the paper. I mean it. I practically ruined Linda's life. We shouldn't have followed advice that was meant for someone else. And that's another point. How many other Lindas have done the same thing? And look what I did to Marty. Oh, Carrie, for Pete's sake. Now, Carrie... wait a minute. There's more. Dear Lovey Heart, I wrote you about my mother being an alcoholic, and you never answered me. All you write about are silly, unimportant things. Do you know how many of my letters are like that? Over half. 50% of the kids are talking back. Where's the fun? There's no fun. I'm sorry. I want out. Carrie, listen. It's very important to all of us that the log is read. We've got to be the best paper that Lincoln High has ever had. We just have to. Lovey Hart is helping us do that. And I'm grateful to you. Yep. Who does she think she is? A cross between Joyce Brothers and the Pope? Oh, look, it's for fun. Even the name, Lovey Heart. Why take her seriously? I don't know. I guess it's because Marilyn didn't even get an answer from her. I know, I know. She probably can't answer every letter. But it's just that Marilyn's a good friend in Lovey Heart. Well, it's just a name. Oh, Forget it. Well, what do you think she Hi, Marty. Uh, hi, Karen. Hi, Marty. Hi, Linda. Hi, Marty. Hi, Linda. How you Hi, doing? Carrie. Okay. Hi, Marty. Hi, Carrie. Hey, oh, Linda. Pretty good. What's your next class? I'm going to practice my basketball. That's you. Hey, Carrie, wait up. I got a date out of my party. Guess who? Freddie Levine. The drummer? The same. Freddie and I have an awful lot in common. Do you know he composes? He said he was going to dedicate a concerto to me. A drum concerto? Well, it's a thought that counts. Yeah, I guess so. If 
you only care to sense about him, then let her have him. Hello? Oh, yeah. Hi, Linda. What's up? Marty asked you to the spring fair, huh? It's okay by me. And we're just friends. At least I think we still are. No, you both have my blessings. Yeah, bye. What is it with you and my phone? It's like Pavlovian conditioning. Every time my phone rings, you head for my room. What's Pavlovian? Conditioning. Pavlovian conditioning. Uh, you'll get it when you take psychology. Now, what do you want? Oh, just thought we might talk. Can I have a peanut? No, you cannot have a peanut. It'll ruin your appetite. Okay, so talk. I know something that you don't know. I know... I bet you know lots of things. I know one thing that you wouldn't want me to tell Dad. Well, are you going to tell me, or are you enjoying yourself too much to reveal your deep, dark secret? Your lovey heart. How did you find out? Well, just kept my old eyes and ears open. And your periscope up, right? Meaning you've been listening outside my door? I wonder, has Mother any idea she's given birth to a CIA agent? When Dad finds out your lovely heart, he's gonna be madder at you than you are at me. Mad? Who's mad? You wouldn't tell him. You mustn't tell a soul, Jeff. What'll you do if I don't? Anything. Uh, here, have a peanut. Have, take the whole bowl. Uh, I'll work with you every Saturday morning on your baseball practice until you're recruited by the majors. Will you take them to the senior spring fair? I wasn't going to go without you. Pam! Pam, right here, Freddy! Come on, kids! Well? Well? I'll think it over. Goodness, everyone's so quiet. You're picking at your plate, Carrie. Something bothering you, dear? No. I'm eating. See? Mm-hmm. What's bothering you, Mark? What? I said, what's bothering you? Someone named Lovey Hart. Lovey Hart? I don't follow. I had a call from the hospital today. The hospital? Mrs. Raymond called to tell me that her daughter Helen is in the hospital with diabetes. Oh, no, the poor baby. Well, this girl wrote Lovey Hart, and according to her mother, took Lovey's advice to go on a diet. I don't see how telling her to go on a diet was so terrible. Ann Landers does it all the time. Ann Landers knows better than advising someone to diet without first checking with their doctor. In this case, the girl had diabetes and the diet almost killed her. Do you see how dangerous giving advice can be? I wish I knew who this lovey heart is. I have a few things I'd like to tell her. Skip, I want you to listen to me. And I mean, really listen to me. OK. I'm listening. Skip, I cannot go on being Lovey Hart any longer. Oh, not that again. Lovey nearly killed someone with her advice. What? Do you remember diet is a four-letter word? Uh, yeah. Well, the girl went on a crazy diet and nearly died of diabetes she didn't know she had. You didn't give her the diet. I should have told her to go see a doctor before going on a diet. Now, how many other lives have I ruined and not even known? Uh, I still say you're Skip, totally a guru, I... I am not. I'm telling you, the natives are getting restless. Yeah, and they're still reading you. They're reading the log now. The other features are catching on. You don't even need Lovey Heart anymore. OK. So Lovey Heart is getting a different reaction than at first. So now she's controversial, and that's even better for the paper, don't you see? I do see. But can't you see my point, too? I'll tell you what. 
Now, it's so close to the end of the semester. Could you just hold on a few more issues? Skip, I just... Just think about it first, please. You can let me know tomorrow at the fair. Oh, all right. Next time around, I'm gonna join something simple, like the camera club. like a dope at Susan's party. Yeah, forget it. It was that lovey heart in that stupid column. I, I thought you were taking me for granted. That's what's so nice about being old friends. Sometimes, you know, taking each other for granted. Yeah. But I thought we ought to be different with each other. We aren't kids anymore. You know what I mean? So, I thought... That wasn't right for us. And now you've got someone. Am I right? Yeah. Linda and I got lots in common. For one thing, we both hate lovey heart. Hey, maybe we can be friends, like before. Sure. Why not? Marty, I can't hit one lousy milk bottle. Can you help me? Good luck. Let me hold him for a while. I want him to get to know me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get some more popcorn. Hey, great fair, huh? Even better than last year's. Only I haven't won a thing yet. Well, the most popular booth seems to be back there. Want to go check it out? Sure. Not you. It's a crazy symbol. Just relax. Take it easy. Hey, Carrie! They've got a whole book about you! So you're the real lovey heart, huh? Well, come on! We've got the seat of honor for you! Ladies and gentlemen, lovey heart! This is the real lovey heart!
Bert? I think he's a freshwater fish. I don't think he likes salt water. Come on, okay? Huh? Come on, you two. I'll take you home. we get out? Oh, off the top of my head, I can only give you one good reason. I'm petrified. Do you want me to tell you, Father? After all, Lovey Heart was my idea. And like he said, I'm responsible. No, I'll tell him. I better tell him fast before he hears it from somebody else. Uh, Jeff, do you mind? I have to speak to Daddy alone, okay? Carrie, are you sure you want to do this all by yourself? No, I don't want to do it at all. That's beside the point. Well, here goes everything. Okay, buddy. Maybe I'll write him a note. Dear Daddy, I'm sorry. Sincerely, lovey heart. Hey, Daddy. Guess what? <laughs> uh, uh, you have every right to disown me when you hear this. Dear readers, this is my last column is Lovey Heart. I tried to help you. To those of you whom I did help, and who told me so, thank you. To those of you I didn't help, and there were plenty, all I can say is I tried and I'm sorry. I'm sure I learned a lot more from all of you while I was writing this column than you learned from me. Like, two things I learned were, one, maybe I shouldn't have written this column at all. And the other thing is I don't have the experience or the training to hand out advice. I guess it boils down to this. You can't have easy answers to tough questions. Maybe you can't have easy answers to any questions. And maybe the only person who can solve your problem is you. In any case, Lovey Heart, alias Carolyn Wasserman, has run out of answers. I wish everyone love. Sure sounds helpful. I still think it sounds a little preachy. Not even preachy and humble. Well, it's over. I just want to let you know that this is the best lovey heart column I've ever seen. Dad, wait up a minute. I made sure that he had a copy on his desk first thing. I still say it was a good column. Was. The key word there is was. <sighs> well, two good things came out of it. For one, you wrote a darn good column. Well, that has already been established. <laughs> What's the other thing? I'll tell you Saturday night after the movies. I did ask you to the movies Saturday night, didn't I? Mm -hmm. 